Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with a program or comp surrogate has stopped working on your Windows device. This tutorial will apply for Windows 10, Windows 11, as well as earlier versions of Windows. And the error message reads that a problem caused the program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. So this should help you a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in Advanced System Settings. Best result, should come back with View Advanced System Settings. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath Performance, Visual Effects, Processor Scheduling, Memory Usage, and Virtual Memory, select the Settings button. And now on this page, Select the Data Execution Prevention tab, and then where it says Turn on DEP for Essential Windows Programs and Services Only, go ahead and select that option. And then you want to select Apply and OK. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK to close out of that. And restart your computer. And then hopefully that should have resolved the problem. One further thing we can do, or a couple of things, would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a few commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy each one one at a time. First one is a reg svr32 vb script.dll. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in, hit enter on the keyboard. It should come back with a message that it succeeded. Go ahead and select OK, and then go ahead and copy the second command, and then do the same thing we did with the first one, and you want to run it. And then finally, we're going to run the third command. It's going to be a system file checker utility scan, just to wrap up this tutorial. So go ahead and paste that one in as well. And this will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go. So hopefully I was able to resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.